Hey you guys, so my friends at Rose Forever New York are having a huge summer sale on these beautiful roses. I love flowers, I love roses. I love Rose Forever New York because their flowers smell so amazing. The smell lasts so long and it even fills up your room with the aroma. And these last for up to a year plus. They just sent me these about a week ago and of course they still look beautiful which is why they are worth the price. And if you guys have been following me for a while, then you remember when they sent me these beautiful roses, these vibrant blue roses, these royal blue roses are probably still my favorites. Like I said, they sent me these months ago and they still look perfect and they still smell amazing. If you want to buy roses for yourself or your significant other or your mom or for a birthday present or whatever, Click the link in the description box below, use code SPIRITUALBADDY25, and make sure you go cop some of these gorgeous roses because you will not regret it. People from your past want to bring you down a peg. The gag is, it's impossible for them to bring you down because that means they would have to come to your level. They can't meet you up here because you are already light years ahead of them. You are so far ahead of them that if they even attempted to try to bring you down at the level that you are at now, you would already have moved on at least five or 10 more levels past where you are now. They will be exhausted trying to come to where you are. They can't bring you down where they are. They're too far. That's too far down there. You have already rose so far above that. They would have to climb Mount Everest. You were at the very top of Mount Everest and they're at the very bottom. There's so many steps, so much danger, so many trials, so, many, so much climbing they would have to go through to even get to where you are to climb that far. Literally, they would be exhausted no one can bring you down unless you chosen one decide you're going to come down to their level how are they supposed to reach you how are they going to get to you when they're all the way down there baby girl is going to be very tired trying to bring you down to her level very very tired by the time she gets up there you gonna be what took you so long <laughs> What took you so long? I thought I thought you were coming to meet, meet me at the top. Well, I, I guess you got lost on the way up. What, what happened? I've already moved on to the next level. I've already advanced. I've already went through that trial. I already went through that tribulation. I, I already experienced that problem. I already went through that habit. I've already healed from that. What happened? I've, I've been waiting. You, you said you were going to bring me down. You said you said that um, I wasn't who I said I was, but... But I've, I've been up here waiting on you for a minute now. And you just now getting here? Man, well, I've already upgraded. So now you got to come meet me at another level. And that's how you do it with anyone and anything in your life. Anytime someone tries to come up against you and bring you down to their level, make them work harder. So each and every time they think they have caught up with you, they really haven't because you have already advanced again. You have already moved forward again. You have already reached the next level again. And at some point, these people are going to stop trying to get you and stop trying to keep up with you because it's something that they cannot do. Now, if, they, if their sole purpose of climbing the ladder and trying to get to the next level was rooted in godliness or it was rooted in them just trying to outdo the old them, then they would actually get somewhere. But because everything that they are doing is rooted in trying to stop you and make you look bad and try to ruin your reputation, they're never going to get up there. Never. Some of them even know that they will never get to where you are, but they don't care. They just don't want to see you there. Why would you come off your throne to go back to a place that you already graduated from, you already healed from, you already leveled up from? You are someone who is constantly leveling up in your life. And the reason that you are able to level up the way you do is because you constantly focus on you. You focus on yourself. 
Your goal is not to try to beat the opposition. Your goal is not try to outdo anyone, but the old version of you, which is why you move so fast. People cannot keep up with you. You move so fast, chosen one. Like you are glowing, you're healing, you're vibrant, you're successful, and you're moving so quickly. And people are like, oh my gosh, we have to stop him. We have to stop her. Like, what is she doing? What is he doing? Who does he think she, he is? Who does she think she is? We have to stop her. You cannot stop someone who was chosen by God. You cannot try to stop someone's destiny. It's not possible. The only way they can even reach you or touch you or even get a glimmer of your essence is if they go through the steps it takes to get to where you are. They think in their little peon head that they are capable of touching you down there. No, you're not. I'm on top of Mount Everest. You are at the bottom. You are at the bottom. And the reason that they are at the bottom is not because you're looking down on them. They're at the bottom because they are acting low vibrational when you act low vibrational you are stuck at the bottom with the rest of the low vibrational people with the rest of the haters with the rest of the people who don't want to do the work we get to stand on on top of mount everest is because we climbed to get to the top of mount everest we put in the work it takes to get on top of mount everest that was not easy. That was a lot of pain. That was a lot of danger. That was a lot of healing and growth we had to do. So we deserve to be in our position. You, on the other hand, do not deserve to be in this position because you haven't put in the work. And you also are so focused on trying to bring the chosen one down instead of just giving credit where it's due. Why not just give the chosen one their credit? Why not just send them love? Why not just applaud them they are allowing their pride and their ego to consume them to the point where they're not even capable of apologizing or admitting they were wrong or at least joining you that's what they say if you can't beat them join them they don't even want to join you because their ego will not allow them they would rather sit there in their hatred than to join you or give you your props and it's not about kissing anybody's ass it's just about real recognizing real well these people are not real so they will never recognize who you truly are which is someone who was chosen which is someone who took that pain they experienced and turned it into their power they can't recognize it because that's not something that's in them it's in you and it's in the people who you surround yourself with those are the only people who will recognize your greatness the people who have it in them already it takes one to know one they don't know what it's like to be great or have that type of heart because they are not willing to put in the work and they are so focused on trying to bring you down. But you're up here and they got a long way to go if they want to come up here with you.